on Dantrotron and glycopyrrolate, they sit next to each other in our drawer, they're the same size vial, and the colors change and are often similar. Rocuronium and Versed. Um, TXA and Bupivacaine. Dexamethasone and Dexmedetomidine. That would be heparin, the different concentrations that are available for different cases, different purposes, that would be concerning. For me, um, giving something else when I think I'm giving Odansetron. Reglan and phenylephrine. And what was the other one? Becuronium and uh, cephalosporins, Kevsol. Lidocaine and epinephrine. Succinylcholine and phenylephrine syringes. Uh, neostigmine and succinylcholine. Odansetron and phenylephrine. So it's a nanosetron ph phenylephrine, it's uh, ketorolac and uh, vasopressin. Vec and Versed. Is transnasamic acid and any of the local anesthetics. Toradol and phenylephrine. Well, I worry about all drug swaps, but s several that we've had that were really problematic was giving sufentanil instead of fentanyl. Also, any problem with muscle relaxants. Four milligram vials of Zofran with my one milligram vial of phenylephrine. Dexamethasone and Ketorolac, which are both in tiny little brown vials. TXA with the pivacaine. So I would say it would be a decadron and ephedrine. Those two have happened way too often. Rocuronium and midazolam. Phenylephrine and ondansetron. Hydralazine and zoophrine. 10 milligram phenylephrine vial and any other small blue vial. The drugs I'm most concerned about are all of the drugs with blue caps.